Hello, my name is Agatha and this is the reading uh, for uh, February 2016 for the sign of cancer. This is a very general reading. Uh, for a personal consultation, please, uh, below you can see my the link for my services page. Uh, you can click on it and, and then you can see my rates. Uh, if you would like to work with me, then please send an email to duniazadachimail.com. Uh, uh, right now, I'm using... Which, where are they? decks i'm using two decks for this month's reading cancer the first one for the celtic cross reading i'm using the nicoletta Cecoli tarot and then uh, for your personal angelical angelic message angelical message i'm using the oracle deck karma angels you can pick now between option a or option b for um, a personal message for you and at the end of the reading, I'll tell you what that personal message is. So let's start. Uh, cancer for uh, the month of February 2016. The significator, the card that came out for you, was the Ten of Wands, which tells me it's a month of lots of duties, lots of responsibilities, lots of hard work. You're working overtime. You're working, you know, uh, longer than, than eight hours a day. You're really working hard. Uh, in the position of something which is not yet seen, uh, the card that came out for you is the seven of coins or the seven of pentacles so at some moment in february you'll or even even after that you'll have to contemplate and concept and ponder and reflect about something or uh, th this something that you might think about uh, it might have have something to do with money so you're working so hard and you really gathering your resources and then you see, okay, I have more money than I, than I thought that I would have. Uh, I, I think that um, you're working hard because you really have to. Maybe there's some sort of debt that you want to get, get rid of, as, uh, get rid of such as fast, fast as you possibly can. Uh, and you not probably not just this, this month, but probably months uh, before, you're working hard, hard, hard. And suddenly, maybe the money that you gather might be more than you expected. And, and now you're thinking, now, what do I do with, with the rest of it? Um, uh, in the position of the root for the month or the basis for the month, you have the four of coins or the four of pentacles, which pretty much tells me the same. You're, uh, you're gathering your uh, resources. Uh, you're paying... Uh, Keep keeping them close to your heart uh, again because probably you need to save for something you need to save could be uh, all sorts of things there's like a big uh, money debt in let's say you're paying your house and you want to just give the final pay payment and you're working hard and all the money that comes your way you like uh, putting it in your safe uh, you, you know uh, put it in a, in the bank, not spending it because you need it. So to me, the, the, the root of your behavior for this month is the need to have a financial uh, uh, security. Uh, in uh, the position of the past influencing the present, you have the Queen of Swords. So this could have different meanings. This could be like... Um, uh, could represent a person in the past, could be a, a woman because it's the queen, but not necessarily, it could be a guy um, in his or her late 30s or after 40 years of age, again, not necessarily, it could be younger, could be someone from the an air sign, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius, is someone who, uh, who is or was very analytical, very intelligent, uh, very objective, someone who, who uh, and you might have had conflict with this person in the past, or you might have separated from this person, or you might have some sort of legal issues, which sorts is also has to do with with uh, legalities. So maybe um, maybe this person was a boss, and you had conflict with this boss, and this person was very analytical and uh, just. Uh, and and, and um, uh, only thought about you know costs and, and and saving costs and and he or she fired you and you were so uh, cancer really needs to have to feel secure to really feel secure 
So maybe you got another job and you were so freaked out, like, oh my god, what if this happens to me again? I need to save as much as I can so I can feel secure. It could be that, or it could be um, you had debts, you had like very a credit card debt or any other type of debt, and you went uh, to a person or someone or someone like came and collect and made a plan. This could be could have been done in a very forcible way. Uh, so it went to the to the court and uh, a, um, a payment plan was imposed upon you. That's why you have to work so hard. That's why you have to uh, save all of, uh, of your money because you have to pay this. Or you were so freaked out and so afraid that you went and seek seek that help. You know, you went to a financial advisor, you went to an accountant, you went to someone, and that person helped you establish a very detailed and very objective and rational, logical and analytical plan, uh, a payment plan. Uh, uh, something happened in the past which is making you work so hard now in the present. Um, uh, or you could, you know, you could have divorced. You know, from this type of person who is really much in her head or his head, uh, and you were absolutely al alone, and you had like no money, and in order for you to establish a safe uh, material basis, you need to work hard because you no longer have a spouse, you know, or because you lost everything in in the divorce or something like that. And the position of something of that which you want, you have the queen of cups you want to have you don't work want to work as hard you want to feel emotional emotionally safe emotionally secure you want to feel loved um you, you want to i don't know if you want to be a mother or or if you want to have time for your kids if you want to have time for you or if you are in a relationship if you want to have time for that relationship you just want to have like an easier life much more based in your heart and less on work and less on you know on money uh, that's what you want you want to feel safe and emotional secure um, and uh, in the position of the near future you have the six of, of cups which can have different meanings it could be that you might receive a present which would be like wow wonderful or it could be that because it's cancer in you are a sign really connected with the past you're thinking about some sort of idyllic past um uh, no boyfriend no girlfriend or even you know your childhood or you might be encountering someone from the past no boyfriend or no girlfriend or even like uh, an ex-husband or an ex-wife someone uh, who with whom you so I would not say ex-husband or ex-wife, but someone, uh, maybe ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, someone you really enjoyed spending spending time with. So it could be re reconnecting, reconnecting with someone from the past. In the position uh, of you or, or the card which represents you, you have the devil, which again tells me that you're obsessed with money and you're uh, working really hard and uh, and I would say you're like obsessed with the material part of life. And again, it comes from um, uh, a will, I would say, to feel safe, to feel secure. But you're overdoing it. You can see that the little devil is carrying the doll. And I think you're working too hard. You're really tired. But you in your head. And it's like a self-imposed uh, labor uh, like you're working almost like a slave, but it's self-imposed because you need to feel safe. Um, in the position of the environment uh, or the others, you have the world. So it could be professional environment, could be professional life, um, work life, family, friends. This this is the people who surround you. Uh, someone is feeling very victor victorious, could be in your family, could be in your work. Someone is getting public recognition, someone is re getting some sort of s success, is being really successful at this time, someone is getting a promotion, or it could be someone is retiring, because the, the world it means the end of a cycle. 
So someone is retiring, retiring, for instance, or someone like a co-worker, for instance, just got a big promotion and is, is going to go to another country because this means travel. Also, is going to go to another country to work in another job or within, within even within the same company, company but it's going to go to, I don't know, US, Canada, Spain, whatever, in, in whatever country. So someone is feeling really successful uh, in your uh, environment. Uh, in the position of desires, hopes, dreams, and also advice, you have another major arcana, judgment card, which is number 20. So your desire, I would read this, I'm sorry, as a desire, is to liberate yourself. And is to set yourself free. Because you I think you're tired of working, but you 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 uh, you work yourself till exhaustion just to f just to feel safe uh, but you, your desire is to liberate yourself from whatever it is that make makes you is making you work so hard again i'm thinking debt uh, and the outcome which is you got a wonderful card it's the 19 the sun so uh some sort of the outcome for the month of February 2016 is some sort of, again, um, success, joy, you really feeling happy because you've accomplished something. Uh, so you're working so hard, but it pays off. At the end of the month, it pays off. So, and you're really feeling help, happy and uh, joyful and uh, successful. It's, it's, yeah, you're feeling really glad. So it paid off. All this work paid off. Um, so if you haven't chose in the beginning, please choose now between option A or option B. Have you picked? If you picked option A, uh, the angel card that came out for you uh, is number 9, Metatron. And it says, the little book says, Trials and tribula tribu Tribulations. The challenge is taking a leap into the unknown, and the lesson is angels will bear us up when we have faith. The name of this angel is well known to many who study the angelical realm, uh, although the origin of the name is still debated. Metatron is called the youth in the Zohar and is often, often associated with stories of as as ascension and transformation. In a reading, the card brings the, the challenges of making a change in your life and assurance that these changes are eventually rewarded. It speaks of the same. You're, uh, you're making a change in your life. You're making a very positive change in your life. Uh, and if it's not uh, immediately rewarded, it will be. It will be. So uh, this is positive. These are, there are trials and tribulations, which shows, is also represented by the Ten of Wands, but you will be successful. So, if you picked uh, option B, the card that came out for you is uh, Melahel, number 13. The safety in the journey. The challenge is making the journey, and the lesson is accept that all the changes in your life have led you to the next one. Uh, this angel protects us in travel new ventures and when leaving one situation for another such as a new job relationship or home the card suggests it is a safe and beneficial time to travel to make a change or even just to change the way you think all these changes in your life are being blessed at this time so it's the exact same thing there's some sort of liberation and change in your life and that this change is being blessed. And if you want to do any type of change, you should do it. Because Mel is always telling you, hey, go, go for it, for it. I protect you. So this is the, the reading that I have for you, Cancer, for the months of February 2016. If you'd like a personal consultation, please send an email to uh, duniazad.gmail.com. And I'll be delighted to work with you. That's it. Bye.